All right, hello, football fans. We've got a jam packed frenzy. So fasten those seat belts because we're going to be flying tonight. I'm Kevin Conley and I'm Danny Harnd and Jenna Vitamani will join us in a few minutes. So let's get rolling with the game of the week. Yeah, and it was a good one. How about RJ Reynolds at Northwest Guilford in a battle of two 2 and 0 football teams. Northwest starting from their own one yard line. Anders Mitchell passes to Rakeem Hammock for the big first down. A few plays later, it's Mitchell finding Hammock again and Hammock will not be caught. He scores a touchdown to cap off the 99 yard drive. That's getting it done on offense. Reynolds trying to get something going. Tommy Elrod's pass is picked off by Austin Jackson. He's got a nice little return going right here. Then on the ensuing drive, how about Caleb Trogdon? He's going to kick a field goal to extend the lead. And Northwest Guilford stays undefeated 17 to 3. The final score. Ledford off to an uncharacteristic slow start, looking to get its first win, taking on Wheatmore tonight. Panthers driving in the first quarter, but the Wheatmore defense comes up with the turnover in the red zone to stop the drive. The Warriors trying to move the ball to pitch to Jonathan Kelly, who picks up a first down, but that drive would stall. Now in the second quarter, Kaysan Phillips with the short pass, the touchdown pass to Adam Greer, 7-0, Ledford out in front. Next time the Panthers have the ball, Phillips to Seth Wiley, who crosses the field, finds the end zone on the 28-yard score. Ledford beats Wheatmore tonight, 37-6, the final score. Page hit the road tonight in search of its first win of the season. Not an easy assignment at Mount Tabor. The Spartans are absolutely loaded this season. And when you have a talent like Snook Peterkin, you find the way to get him the ball any way you can. Quarterback Lane Albright to Snook. And Peterkin going to get in the end zone for the score. Jamarius Hunter, he's going to shake and bake his way into the end zone there for Mount Tabor. The Spartans having a good night. Page defense, huge play here. Elijah Jones steps in front, and this is going to be a pick six to get Page on the board. But Tabor dominated this one. The final 48 to six is the final. Let's head down to Randolph County. It's Trinity hosting East Davidson. The Golden Eagles with the ball, and they're going deep. Really deep, but check out Bulldogs defensive back Ethan Willard with the interception. And now Trinity on offense. It's quarterback Noah Bradley over the middle. Leland White, and nice move there. And this is going to be a 45-yard pickup. We move to the second quarter. Bradley end zone. Caden Fuller goes up and comes down with it for the super touchdown. And then East Davidson responds with a long drive. Jet Marco Lavio. Finds the end zone. Trinity pulls away with a big second half. 54-22 is the final score. Well, guys, over the years, Thomasville and High Point Andrews have played some really good footballs. And both of these schools tonight looking to recapture some of that magic over at Simeon Stadium. And it was an exciting one. So let's go ahead and pick things up in the second half. Third down right here with Keyshawn Carpenter and Shotgun. He carries the rock enough to move the chains for the Bulldogs. And this first down will set up this very crucial next play. On the quarterback keeper, Johan Robinson dodges tackles left and right. And he's taking it straight to the house. Thomasville makes it a 14-13 game in the third quarter. Well, same sort of idea to that first highlight I showed you. Carpenter takes a snap. He takes this one, but this time all green grass in front of him. He hits the gas, takes it 94 yards, finding the Bulldogs end zone and adds another six to the board, but it just wasn't enough. Andrews pulls out a close win, 21-20 over Thomasville. Now let's stay in High Point. We're going to look at Southwest Guilford hosting the Bison of High Point Central. The Cowboys wasting no time. They got on the board immediately tonight, and they keep adding. Now this Bison punt gets tipped. It's recovered by Tylen Grimes near the 10. He finds the end zone for the second Southwest score of the night. That's a 14-0 lead very early into the first quarter. Cowboys very next possession. CJ drops back. Looking downfield, he connects with Grimes, and that'll mark another touchdown from the freshman. It was all Cowboys tonight, a dominant lead over High Point Central, 48-0. Tough news this week for the Reagan football team. Starting quarterback Jacob Smith out for the year with a torn ACL. You know, he's committed to NC State for baseball and football, so let's hope 
It is a speedy recovery. The Raiders taking on Grimsley tonight. The students were decked out patriotic for Armed Forces Night. Grimsley quarterback Faison Brandon so dangerous because if he can't find an open receiver, he can run. Here he makes the tacklers miss, picks up the first down for the Whirly. Several plays later, Mitchell Summers goes straight up the middle for the score. It is his eighth touchdown of the season. Grimsley on top 21 to nothing. Now the Whirlies take advantage of a fumbled snap on a Reagan punt attempt. Special teams are so important and certainly can change a football game. Coach Brown looking to score just before the half. Caden Coteau takes the pitch from Brandon, finds the end zone. Grimsley wins this one 42 to 7 the final score. All right, in K Vegas, we've got Providence Grove at Bishop McGinnis tonight. Waterfield the villains himself. strike first. Alec Waterfield rolls out, lets it fly. Aiden Martin is there for the score, plus the two-point conversion. It was eight to nothing, Bishop. Now, after Providence Grove scored on a short touchdown, the Patriots back to work. Jackson Lawver finds a wide open Andrew Thomas. However, Providence Grove fumbled on the next play. Fourth quarter, Carson Jones from 43 yards out. Providence Grove takes the lead 10 to 8, but there was time on the clock. Bishop drives down and scores. Waterford on the keeper. 14 10. Bishop wins with a late game rally. All right, Dudley has played Durham Hillside in a non-conference game, Danny, for as long yeah. as I can remember. And that annual matchup tonight at Tarpley Stadium in Greensboro, where the Panthers have pretty much been unbeatable over the years. During the team entrance, Jamar Parker. Look at that backflip, huh? Nice job. Dudley's defense is so tough. Everybody getting a piece of this running back. Now Dudley on offense. Fourth and goal, Braden Jeffries. Hits Nasir Newkirk for the score. 7-0 Panthers on top. Dudley with another fourth and goal situation here. The pitch, Jaden Brown. And he's going to find the end zone there. Dudley with a big win. 44-0 over Hillside. Let's head up Highway 29 where Reedsville hosting Rockingham County. And hey, the Cougars on the move here. The Rock giving the Rock to Christian De La Cruz. A 20-yard touchdown. Rockham County hanging in there, but after the kickoff, this is the first play after that kickoff to give to Jerry Cobb, and this guy had a huge night. He's going to take it 67 yards to the end zone there. Then later on, Deontay Neal to Cameron Jones. It's a touchdown for the Rams, and Reedsville would roll tonight to the win 50-7, to the final score. It is halftime here on the Frenzy. When we come back, highlights of Northern Guilford and Eastern Alamance, as well as Carver and Parkland. All right, but first, we've got the cheer of the night, and we put the spotlight on Trinity. We are the Bulldogs, and we are the best. B-U-L-L-D-O-D-S. We are the Bulldogs, and we are the best.
great. All right, over the years, the student section at Ledford High School has been one of the best. It doesn't hurt that the team has been solid, too. Anyway, the students know how to bring the energy, and the players feed off of that, as you can see in tonight's fan cam. Ledford, a winner over Wheatmore tonight. Jenna Vitamani is back with us with a few more games, starting with Eastern Alamance and Northern Guilford. That's exactly right, guys. Well, Northern needed overtime last week to beat New Bern, and while Eastern Alamance is still looking for that first win of the season, so let's see if they can pull it out. This used to be a conference game, so we're glad that it's still even on the schedule. Eastern driving here. Zach Merchel drops back to pass. His pass, though, is intercepted by Bobby Baugh. Northern defense came to play tonight. First pass of the drive here for the Nighthawks. Jackson Kemp passes to the end zone, finding Christopher Morrison Jr., and that'll be a touchdown on the board for them. Well, the Nighthawks are driving here again. Christian Leach, he takes the handoff. Big gain to move the chains. He's brought down at the 10-yard line. But this very next play is what sets it up. Jackson Kemp, he, his pass finds Reggie King Jr., who makes a great leaping catch for the touchdown. That final score tonight, Northern Guilford 45, Eastern Alamance 14. Now let's head back to Forsyth County with Carver at Parkland tonight. He won. Covert catches the long bomb right over here. That's from Ethan Bailey. This will move the ball way down the field for Parkland. And that catch right there will actually set up a field goal attempt. And here's that field goal. It is good through the uprights by Francisco Rojas. He's adding three more to the board for Parkland. But Carver's in possession now. Sincere Goff throws it deep to Antonio Samuels. He walks it in with ease for the touchdown. Carver takes it big tonight, winning 22-10 over Parkland. Davidson County, we had Oak Grove hosting Ragsdale. Oak Grove quarterback Grayson Treadway is going to pass it to Jaden Glenn for a huge gain right here. That's getting it done in the open field. Then a little bit later on the drive, the handoff's going to go to Carson Williams. One yard on the touchdown run, 7 to nothing. Grizzlies out in front. Ragsdale with the football. Braylon Lewis, he's going to get sacked by Daniel Honeycutt. Oak Grove getting the job done on both sides of the ball. Back with the football, Eli Fulcher on a 45-yard field goal attempt. It is good. And the Grizzlies go on to get the win in this one, 31 to six, the final score. Let's finish up with Davie County at North Davidson. All-time series, 27 to 27, heading into tonight. North Davidson handoff to Amir Dalton. And this guy is a player. He gets in from three yards out. Black Knights up 14 to 12. Davy County quarterback Drayton Nance is going to go to Ethan Driver. And he's got it. And he's going to make some nice moves. And there's another one. And how about a 63 yard touchdown? 23 17, Davy on top. And that connection worked again because Drayton Nance is going to go to Ethan Driver again. This one from 44 yards out. Davey wins it over North Davidson, final 44 to 17. All right, thanks for watching this edition of The Frenzy, folks. The news continues right now with Michael Hennessy. All right.